little thumb. Once upon a time, a couple of very poor woodcutters decided to abandon their seven boys in the forest rather than watching them die of hunger. But the youngest boy, called Little Thumb, because of the tiny size he had since he was born, heard his parents' conversation. He was the smallest, but also the smartest. So he decided to fill his pockets with small pebbles that he scattered along the way. This way, the children were able to find their way back home. But the situation didn't get any better, and the woodcutters resigned themselves to abandoning them again. This time, Little Thumb didn't have time to gather some pebbles. Instead, he took the piece of bread he was given for breakfast. On their way to the forest, the boy crumbled the bread and threw it on the road. Unfortunately, Little Thumb looked for the pieces of bread to find his way back, but in vain. The birds of the forest had eaten all of the bread crumbs. The boys felt desperate. Fright grew into their hearts as the night was falling. But Little Thumb didn't become discouraged. He climbed the tree to its summit to observe the surroundings. And there he saw a light very far away. It's probably a house, exclaimed Little Thumb. He told his brothers about it, and they all decided to go in the direction of the light. It was a house indeed. Little Thumb knocked at the door and the lady came to open it. He explained that he was lost with his brothers in the forest, asking if she could give them shelter for the night. Poor little ones, exclaimed the lady. This is the house of an ogre who devours children. Going back to the forest was even more scaring for the children, because they insisted the ogre's wife let them in, hoping to be able to hide them. But the ogre returned home earlier. As soon as he came in, he exclaimed, Hmm, I smell fresh flesh here. His wife tried to convince him that it was the smell of the lamb she was cooking. But he didn't believe her and soon found the poor boys. The ogre wanted to eat them at once. But his wife told him that it would be better to feed them first in order to fatten them up a little bit. All right, answered the ogre. Give them a copious meal and let them sleep in the girl's room. In fact, the ogre had seven daughters who were all sleeping in the same big bed with the golden crown on each one's head. The seven boys went to sleep in the other big bed, placed beside the little ogress's one. Unlike his brothers, Little Thumb didn't sleep. He was suspicious about the ogre and had the idea of exchanging their hoods with the crowns of the seven girls. This way, if the ogre intends to cut our throats while we are sleeping, he will have a bad surprise, thought sly Little Thumb. And he was right. The ogre chose the children wearing hoods, of course, as soon as he left the room, Little Thumb woke his brothers up and they ran away as fast as they could. The next morning, the ogre got terrorized when he saw his terrible mistake. Feeling furious, he ordered his wife to bring him his seven leagues boots to recapture the boys. With big long strides, he ran and ran through the forest but in vain. This useless running made him feel extremely tired. So he threw himself at a mass of rocks and fell deep asleep. By chance, the children were hiding behind these very same rocks. Little Thumb took off the ogre's boot and put them on. They were magic ones that had a distinctive characteristic of fitting anyone's feet as soon as they are worn. Little Thumb told his brothers to return home and not to wait for him. I will catch up with you later, he said. But first, I still have some work to do. Little Thumb returned to the ogre's wife and told her that bandits had captured her husband. Your husband is sending me to bring him all the gold he owns. It is the bandit's condition to set him free. As a proof of my honesty, he gave me his boots to save time, he said. Totally convinced that Little Thumb was telling the truth, the woman put all her husband's gold in two big bags and handed them over to the small boy. Little Thumb caught up with his brothers as they were getting closer to their parents' house. What a surprise they had when he showed them what was in the bags. Since then, and thanks to smart Little Thumb, they all lived happily, rich enough to keep the wolf from their door.